Hi, welcome to Tonko House Family Profile number six. Who are we talking today? Uh, this week we're going to talk to Megan Bartell. Right. I'm so I'm a producer here at Tonko House, and um, I think it's the team is fantastic. I'd always loved animation. Um, I kind of stumbled my way into animation, actually. Coming from Minnesota, I guess I hadn't looked at it as like a reality of a profession. So in school, I, I studied biology and art, thinking that I would get into medical illustration. Drastically, after graduating, I wanted to give it a shot of living in California and to pursue the big dream. When I moved out here, it was um, the middle of the recession, so it was pretty tough finding a job. So I was actually working at Starbucks at four in the morning. I found out about the Pixar internship through their website. Looking at the resume, I thought, I could do that. And I got lucky enough, they took me up on that and I got the opportunity to be an intern at Pixar. I worked on Brave, Monsters University, The Good Dinosaur, Incredibles 2, and then there's one last film that hasn't been released yet that I worked on before I left. Originally, we didn't know Megan well enough to approach her. We approached Duncan Ramsey to produce the short, and Duncan insisted on bringing on Megan that, honestly, he felt like he wouldn't really want to do it without her. And from the minute we met Megan, we were impressed and excited to work with her on the short. That's right. Megan and I were both coordinators at Pixar at the same time. She was producing Dam Keeper Short and I was voicing Pig. She was trying to get Vokes. She actually ended up getting inside the booth with me and would shove me. And that's Megan and my first interaction together, really. Megan has brought an amazing amount of order to Tonko House. And she's very supportive of creatives and she knows how to get stuff done. The level of ownership uh, that Tonko House gives to uh, individuals over projects is really admirable. And specifically, you know, recently working with Chris Sasaki, some of the ideas that he's developing, I've been nothing but impressed with his spirit and his openness and um, kind of being willing to dive into new experiences. Those are, those are the moments that I love. Megan and I are like the first ones to kind of actually start interacting with each other and trying to figure out. Working animation is a big machine and she's always there to kind of like foresee like the future and she's always there to help remind me of things I forget of like the big seeds that we were trying to do. And, um, to have that person it's someone you have to build a trust really well and I feel like Megan and I we make such a great team. On, on both a personal and professional level, uh, Megan is someone that I see as really strong, really pretty fierce in the way she deals with us, but also probably one of the kindest people I know. The future of what Megan puts in front of us is actually who we want to be. I hope that the studio blossoms under her guidance and leadership into what she sees uh, here. Yes. For the future of Tonko House, I'm not only excited about the projects that we have here in development, but also for the reach of the potential partnerships that we'll be making going forward. Being able to work with different animation studios, it really just opens our eyes to learning about how they operate, you know, what their pipelines are, sometimes even nerdy aspects of filmmaking. Some of the things that really drive me as a producer um, to, to keep exploring. 